Today I'm going to show you how to make a watermelon cake inspired by black star pastry. It is very popular in Sydney at the moment and I would like to show you how to make it. For preparations I've already listed all the ingredients you'll need. And to start off, you'll need to dice up the strawberries. And to that, you're going to be adding about three tablespoons of sugar. Next, you'll need to cut up the grapes in half. And for the watermelon, you'll have to cut it in quarters first then cut it into 2 cm slices and make sure you trim it into a rectangular shape so it will fit into the cake a lot more easier later After that, place it on a rack to dry so it won't soak in the cake and affect the texture of the cake. To smash up the pistachios, you can use any tools you like. Uh, you can zip it up in a plastic bag or use a knife and chopping board as long as it's handy for you. Then to the cream, I've added about 5 tablespoons of roast jam. You can get it in the Chinese grocery stores or if you can't find it anywhere, I suggest you to use about 100 grams of sugar and a few drops of rose water. Try not to skip this step because it is one of the key flavours to this cake. Then you can start whipping up the cream. And whip up the cream until it reaches a stiff consistency like what I have here. It should no longer be runny. To make the cake base, beat up 5 eggs. Make sure you only keep the egg whites like so. Make sure your eggs are in room temperature as well. If you don't have enough time, just soak it in lukewarm water. After that, you can start beating up your eggs until it reaches a stiff peak. Make sure to take your time. It is one of the crucial steps to get the cake right. And you can stop until you get something like this. Then add in your almond meal. Then add 150 grams of sugar into the mixture. And stir in a cross hatching motion instead of stirring it in a circular motion just until it's well combined. Try not to over mix. Until you get a mixture that looks something like this. Here's a tip to get a well shaped square cake. Place the baking paper on top of the tray that you're using. Then push it down to the corners like so. and you'll see the fold of the edge of the tray. 
then cut the corners and use a bit of butter to fold the corners in, sort of like gift wrapping. Now we can pour half of the mixture of eggs and almond meal into the tray. And spread it out evenly. Make sure you get every corner. Then you can put it into the oven at 180 degrees for about 15 minutes until the surface becomes a bit brown. Because I only have one square tray, so I had to wait for one of the cake base to finish baking, then bake the other half. But if you have two trays, feel free to bake them at the same time. And after you take it out, it should look something like this. And you will need to tip it upside down and peel off the baking paper. Then if you see any parts that's not neat enough, trim it with a knife. You have to make sure the two cake bases look even. And now we're almost finished. Place one of the cake base down on a plate and start spreading half of the cream on top, making sure it's up to every corner. Then place half of your grapes on top of your cream and also your watermelon. Make sure they're nicely placed. Then another layer of cake and spread out the cream on top of that. Then sprinkle on the other half of your grapes. Also your strawberries that's coated in sugar. Then last but not least, sprinkle in your pistachios. And here we go, your watermelon cake finished and delicious looking. Just to get you jealous, I have to put on all the shots of the finished cake. Please subscribe if you like this recipe and have fun in the kitchen.